soon, millions of homes and businesses will pay the price for going green. If you've got solar, you'll have to pay power companies to store it. Energy is all over the place at the moment, energy news, but the big one that I believe everybody's going to feel the pinch very shortly is the one where they want to charge us now for exporting our solar. This is a kick in the guts for the everyday Australian who's been looking after their bottom line. The energy retailers and the distributors have known for many, many years that solar is growing and now they say oh there's too much in the pipeline and we can't have enough capacity in the distribution lines etc what have you guys been doing where are the batteries that we needed who's put that into the pipeline when are they being built where's the vision we have an energy minister who in this story that we're going to show you in a minute that i was involved with with the current affair is saying oh well angus taylor did it it's not me but mate it is your watch that this is happening it is the biggest solar stitch up that we've ever had guys watch it and give me your opinion Free EV charging. Come on, guys. Stay for a couple of hours. Are you for real? Is it for free? Yes, it's for free, mate. Please stay a couple of hours. I'll make you a cup of tea. Just hang around. OK, top me up. Marcus is on a mission. Just take the lead. Use anything, OK? To give away his power. I'll get it back about 6, 7 o'clock, all right? OK, thank you, Marcus. Before he's charged for it, you probably can't stop looking at that thing. It's like a taxi meter, it's sucking money. Marcus calls it... It's the great solar stitch-up. ...that leads all the way to the halls of power in Canberra. Mate, would you like some free power? I've got too much solar power. And this crusading customer isn't alone. This is a kick in the guts for the everyday Australian who's been looking after their bottom line. It appears nearly every man and his dog's about to cop it in the socket. Only three hours to go, baby. Good girl. OK, Betsy's not hitting the treadmill for three hours, and Marcus isn't drying a lone sock. This is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? it well, I tell you what's ridiculous. Is it pains to point out a looming power problem? It's ridiculous now that they encourage us to do solar for 15 years and now they're going to smack us if we want to export it. Three and a half million Aussie homes and businesses are like mini power stations. Till now, these solar converts have been receiving money from power companies for every extra kilowatt of electricity they send to the grid. But soon, a solar switch will be flicked and it'll be the power punters who pay. We're being punished for doing the right thing, following the government's recommendation, getting a rebate, getting solar, and now at the end of the road, suddenly I'm being the cash cow for the energy retailers. It appears the electricity network can't handle the influx of power being sent to the grid. The network needs upgrading, and solar consumers will foot the bill. Since 2006, solar has grown exponentially. So somebody in the planning department for the energy network could have worked out 10 years ago that we're going to be in this position here right now. But they did nothing about it. Has the government been asleep at the wheel? I think that the uptake of solar has occurred at a pace that um, has probably exceeded expectations all around. Um, so I do think we are catching up. Anna Collier is the chair of the Australian Energy Market Commission. Um, doing nothing was not really an option. The grid would get congested no more solar would be able to be exported and we'd actually be in a worse position for everyone. The tax word is not a good word. Incentive is a good word. Kathleen's a solar industry pioneer. She fears the controversial new levy could kneecap installers and suppliers. I'm terrified to find out what it might do. Hopefully it won't, it won't kill them. Don't use the carrot and the stick, just use the carrot. You know, incentivise people to use their self-consumption. Customers can avoid the new charges by exporting their solar during peak times or fork out thousands of dollars for batteries to store their power. I don't need that because I've got the solar there. They paid me to do the right thing by the environment, to create renewable energy, and now they're smacking us hard not to give it to anybody because they want to charge for it. It's crazy. Marcus is calling on Energy Minister Chris Bowen to step in. Mate, would you like some free power? I've got too much solar power. No taker for the free power. 
And look, while the mess has not grown on Minister Bowen's watch, he's the energy minister, I'd love him to fix it. So this is the petition that we're asking people. Action Group Solar Citizens CEO Heidi Lee Douglas would also like an audience with the Energy Minister. We've been knocking on the door for Mr Bowen to present that petition to him and so far he's refused. Basically the energy companies are wanting to start charging people for sunlight. That's just not fair. What's your response to slogans out there like solar tax? Our obligation is to serve the long-term interests of consumers as a whole. So at the end of the day, I feel it's unhelpful to wrap it up in something that's simplistic in that way. I'd like to know what we're scare and mongering about. <laughs> I think that it's quite legitimate for people to be questioning whether though that investment that they've made can suddenly be taxed. It's up to the state governments to bring in the solar export tariffs. The expectation is the average solar home will be about $70 worse off, but they'll still save around $900 a year on power bills. Well, it's a few cents now, but we know energy retailers, it starts here and it ends up there. And by the time it ends up there, with the size of the system I have, it's going to be a damn lot of money out of my pocket. Which is why Marcus's prank to plough through his power as fast as he can might not be so ridiculous after all. Yeah, it doesn't exactly inspire people to join the renewable future, does it? And we reached out to the Energy Minister who said the new rules were ticked off by the previous government. You can see the comment by the Energy Minister is it's not my fault. Well, do something about it. This is the biggest rip-off of people who invested generally in solar. And trust me, when it starts now only with one, one and a half cent that they charge you for export per kilowatt hour, who knows that it's going to end up there. That renewable energy is very valuable. We need it. We need to create the capacity to store it so that it is useful in the evening. And the people who are in charge should pull their finger out and get on with it and actually create the infrastructure that we need to handle the renewables. It's just talk. I'm so sick of it. Now, in regards to the solar, of course, we can store it in batteries. There's obviously now time for battery rebate to come through. And don't stuff it up like the New South Wales government. We announced it for November now, so nobody buys batteries anymore. I mean, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Duh, how many times have we stuffed the rebate up and the New South Wales government has done it again? Now, what can you do about it? Write to your local member, state and federal and tell them that as a local business, this sun tax is very unfair. People invested into solar with an honest opinion that they were benefiting their financial pocket and the environment and they weren't going to be a cash cow for these energy regulators. So we can't just sit there and cop this. Write to the energy minister as a local company that employs local people, how it affects you, how it has the risk. Write to Minister Bowen and say this is very unfair. Yes, it was done under the previous government, but he has the power to push the energy regulators now to review this, to push them to put more batteries into it. And also there are opportunities to put that power into hot water tanks, to put it into batteries. So that technology needs some support so we absorb more solar in the middle of the day, make it overall a more flexible grid and do not just go with whack over the head taxes like this bloody sun tax. Do something about it. It's your business. Now, if you guys are more interested in renewable infra, solar, heat pumps, batteries, subscribe to our channel, Your Energy Answers. We're going to keep this government honest when it comes to renewables. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.